Okay, so here I'm going to talk about few journal options which are available. Very interesting, very useful functions. You're going to use it a lot. I'm talking about custom column, invoke column function, conditional column, and uh, creating an index also. Duplicate is something that you can also do. So all these things I'm going to talk about. We'll talk about custom column from example later on in another video. Uh, so these things I'm going to talk about now. So let me just take different queries to explain it to you. Suppose um, let us take an example of conditional column. For this, I'll go with sales 2017. And over here, you will notice one thing. We have the order quantity available, right? I am going to create a conditional column by saying the quantity type. If the quantity is one, then we'll say single. If the quantity is more than one, we'll say multiple. And similar way, you can do anything with this. Just like if conditions we put, this is similar to that. And that functionality is here in Power Query by using conditional column. I'm just giving you an example. Later on, you can able to use it and apply it in your current requirement. I'll go with custom column, conditional column, I'm sorry. And uh, in custom column also, we can do this, by the way. Where there we can put any function. So this, but this is not dex, okay? So do not mix it. So over here, I would say quantity type and column name would say if uh, order quantity, look at that, it's just visual if, if order quantity equals to one, column name operator value if order quantity equals to one what kind of output you would like to show i would say single if it is one single if else or you can add few more clauses over here but i'm okay with that because i have only one condition else i would say multiple that's it okay and we are good now you'll see we got another column with us that's quantity type right okay now uh, let's let us just talk about the custom column uh, feature here let us just go to the products i'll show you one example here here you will notice something that we have the product price with us and the cost let us calculate revenue for each product how price minus cost i can't do it just like this i have to create and create a column which can accept the calculation and that is custom column okay under the add column i am going with custom column there i would say uh, let me just give it a name as revenue one second revenue right price minus cost you can see the list of all the available columns i'll simply go over there and see Okay, this is the product price. I can simply click on insert. It will get inserted there in its own language with the square brackets. Minus. Okay, it is showing some red, which means that token literal expected. So it's okay. We have to just pass the argument, which is the second part of it, the cost. I'll simply insert it. And that's it. No syntax errors have been found. And okay. So it will be creating a new column in the name of revenue at the end. So these are the two examples we have seen. One for the conditional column and one for the custom column. Now let us talk about how we can use invoke custom column or custom function. And what do you mean by invoke custom uh, functions? Basically calling a function. That is what we call invoke, right? So for this, first we have to create that function and then that function can be used anywhere. This is what an invoke custom function is all about you have to first create it somewhere in, in a query and then you can call it as many times as you want in different um, different uh, tables or the queries right so how to create one this is interesting you need to go to the home tab and in the new source you have an option of blank query we have to write down the blank query and there I would like to write this code for you. What I'm going to do right now, suppose I need to calculate uh, total revenue. 
just like we calculated over there for each product i want to calculate it total revenue which i can use directly into the sales sheet so what is that it's basically price into quantity that is what a revenue is and probably i need to use this calculation in many tables just keep that in mind just take a take a that case so first i need to define the variable and then the type of calculation let us just go slightly slow here i would say price as number this language is case sensitive keep it keep it in mind comma and quantity as number i'm defining the data type right now okay i'm done so i've defined the variable over here and then i'm going to say the calculation what is the calculation price into quantity that is going to be my revenue so price multiply by quantity okay quantity and then enter once you perform this calculation just press enter and no need to do over here anything this is just giving you that okay you can just just put in some value and see the result and all it's okay we are not going to do it we'll simply do it over there it's very simple calculation we are doing you can also assign a name to this query suppose revenue revenue calculation right i have assigned a name and you can see an fx is there which means a, it's a function not a query now how to get it if i go to the sales table we must be having those columns with us first of all do we have it we have the order quantity but we don't have the um you know one second we are getting null over here this is the calculation we just did it or okay this is actually we did it in 2017 so that is why it is not showing the result for 2015 and 16 so it's fine so we are okay with that calculation um so what i was talking about we do have the order quantity with us but not the price so let us just fetch the price column and you know we understood already how to merge the queries so i'll simply go to home and i'm clicking to merge queries and let me fetch the value value is for i need to fetch the price so this is the sales table i'll go over here and i'll choose products table what do we have common over here product key done okay let it work first yeah okay and we got it and you know what do we need to do we'll simply click on this double arrow and we want to go with only price so i'll just keep it selected okay and we'll end up having the price column with us product price is there now we can just in, instead of performing that calculation because we have already created invoke function over there we'll simply go to add column and then invoke custom function and here we'll say revenue correct and query is going to be my revenue calculation this is what that uh, one second let me just drag it this is what that calculation is revenue calculation so i'll simply select it and now you can see uh, first product price is automatically coming right and uh, then quantity and if you see one thing over here this is the column which has been selected but if you see in this quantity i can't see quantity over here okay it is not accepting it because the data type over here is decimal number no it's not a decimal number it is a column right so i can either put a manual value over over here for for example if you want to perform calculation based on a gst so you can simply put 18% over here right because that's a fixed value but what i can do i can simply choose a column this is a column for me and i would say order quantity right okay and you will notice that we'll be having an entire column which is in the name of total revenue although the data type is not being detected i'll simply come over here and change it to um whole number suppose that's it it got changed and uh, so this is how we can use invoke custom function 
and one more thing index column i need to talk about so suppose i'll go to let us just add one more table with with this will be useful we'll go to home and we'll go to new source text or csv and this time i'm going to add one query which is returns open i'm getting that returns table now it's working there you go okay why i did it because it's a part of our model number 1 and for one more reason which is for index column okay first of all check the data types as we are doing it from the very first table so this is good it's a date and then rest are numbers and then the type of uh, the table also this is a fact table right so i'll just put f in front of it hyphen returns i'm good now index so with for this index let me just do one thing it do not have any unique value so i can use an index to provide a unique key to it that is why i've inserted this so for this i'll simply go to add column and you can see index column i can simply click on this and it, it is going to start with zero as you can see in the uh, information which i don't want i'll click on this drop down and i want to start with one you can also go with custom and put any number from which you need to start this index i will simply go from uh, one and it will become part of my model it will be at the very end i can simply drag it and make it in the very beginning and you can see that step is also been added reordered the columns right so this way we did it and uh, that's it one more option let us see we can also make a column duplicate so i can simply click on this duplicate column and you will be having another column of that so i don't want it i don't want the duplicate column i'm removing it i don't want to read or reorder it because i even don't want the index column okay i don't want that so as of now in this clip i have explained you duplicate column i explained you how to create an index column from any number conditional column invoke custom column and the custom fun custom column also in work custom function and custom column i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much and let us learn few more things in the coming videos thank you